Hey everyone, Lancelot Archer here. Welcome back to the channel and to this Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands beta gameplay. Now in this video, it's just me showing off probably one of the better missions that we did in the actual beta. Um, so I'll let you check it out and make your own opinions on it and see what you think of the actual game itself and whether or not you'll be deciding if you want to buy this game when it comes out for release. Now, I was playing with uh, my brother, Jula78, the Visard Kid, and Ozzy150. So we were doing obviously the usual four man team. So we were just obviously going to show you a little bit of how the vehicle mechanics work, the shooting mechanics work, and you know just generally how overall gameplay was it, how it was in the beta. Now, to be said and to be fair, um, not to throw anyone off the off this game in any way or form, is obviously just how my experience with the beta went. Um, honestly, I didn't I didn't feel like it was as great as I would hoped it would be. Now. I knew of this game prior to Tom Clancy's The Division uh, coming out, so I was kind of eagerly anticipating this game than I was The Division. Now, as some of you are aware, I do play The Division, and I do in enjoy that game immensely. It's a very fun game, and you know, when you get a good team together, it's always a lot of fun when you have people that you trust and people that you can get along with in the game. Now, the four of us that you see in here, we do, we, this is normally the four that we run with when we play The Division. We have another member, the Lynchbox 100. Um, so we rotate, but he didn't actually get access. I don't think he was actually in the beta for this one, or he didn't get an invite for the beta or something along that line. But um, yeah, so he didn't get a chance to play. But you know, from what he saw, he was a little bit unsure himself. But back to the video and what we're doing in this mission. So in this particular part of the video, we are about to hit a force known as the Unidad, which are I think they're like a private PMC for this particular part of the mission so they have their own base and these guys are quite okay. quite powerful Sneaky so these are highlighted in purple We're looking for the so as you see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen is the map and you see the bits that are highlighted in pink that tells you that in that pink sort of like blur on the radar that tells you that the unidad forces are in there but you don't actually know exactly where they are until you actually pinpoint them like you're seeing what i just did there with the looking down the sniper rifle you'll see that i've just highlighted them which gives us all an opportunity to find out where they are and mark them up now the game does introduce the sync shot which allows you to have all four members of your team essentially shoot the players all at once so obviously you'll target them at one to four and then you choose which one you go and then on the countdown you shoot them and kill them at one go now we tried this here but i don't think it works that well for us i think we accidentally like shot one and it set the rest off on purpose but you'll see in this gameplay footage as i'm trying to get into a better line of sight now one thing I should mention about this as well is that the weapons in the game for the beta purposes were very very limited so you were essentially set with a set loadout which you couldn't um, sort of like customize at this point um, you could add stuff in terms of customization say like you, the main weapon you got you could change out an under barrel or a scope of some kind but if you picked up a weapon off the floor, you couldn't customize that unless you unlocked it later on in the game. So as you'll see later on in the video, you'll probably see me going through the uh, the customization weapons or the level what weapons you can customize, and you'll see that they are kind of locked. So right now, you'll see that we're being attacked by Unidad forces. Um, they've essentially cordon reinforcements that have come in by a vehicle, and as you'll see in the map, that it's gone red. That means obviously they know they're under attack, so they're calling in more reinforcements. So. As we were doing this mission, we kind of had no real idea what we were doing, so we just thought, let's go guns in bla guns blazing and take out this uh, particular base. Now, at the top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see it says Unidad Patrols. Now, you'll see it's got two out of the four, I don't know what they are, sergeant markers? You know, the four triangle, upside down arrows? There's two out of them, so once the, that just tells you that they are aware that they're under attack. Now, at some point, you'll see that it does end up going four four purple max so obviously it tells you that all the unidad forces will be encroaching onto you and will be coming to find you so um i mean they're not hard to take out but it's, it's more of it's more difficult as you see it's just gone up to three so you, so obviously the uh level threat that unidad are pushing in is going to get more difficult but i think the you'll see it later on in the vid that when it gets to the four the full four unidad patrols highlighted in the purple that it becomes really really difficult but overall this is sort of like just me like showing off how, how this went for the beta for us over the course of the weekend. Um, Visor Kid, as we were playing through, has made a point which has kind of stuck through me sort of since I, a while I was trying to figure out how to do this video and how to sort of like base my opinion on this. But not in any way try to dissuade people if they still wish to buy it. 
it was that this game, while this was the beta, had some flaws. All games do in beta, like prior to release and so forth. But if this was essentially how they were trying to release it as a final product, there was a lot fundamentally wrong with it. Um, you know, I'm not trying to compare to Division. Obviously, it's two different companies working on this game, and um, obviously two different type of gameplay. But as a Tom Clancy game, and sort of fallen under the umbrella of Tom Clancy games made by Ubisoft, you would kind of expect them to sort of have similarities in terms of like gunplay and cover mechanics and and um, vehicle mechanics and so forth. And as you can see here, I'm getting dragged along by the uh, by the. Uh, the rebel ad or uh, rebel ad so it's quite amusing that he didn't actually attempt to heal me but back to the point I was making so Visor Kid uh, said this that this is a type of game that you cannot fix with a patch and in some ways in not in some ways in, in a lot of it I actually agree with him because obviously with what we experienced playing this over the last few hours or put playing a few hours over on the weekend when the game was out also when the beta was out we we had a lot of issue with it like the the gun mechanics was okay. The cover mechanics was hard, though. The the vehicle mechanics were very, very difficult to uh, to get used to and control. Um, and it was one of the things where Visard and myself were very eager for this game. We were looking to see how this would come out, as in, you know, if it was one of them games if we could, if we were going to buy, and obviously, we wouldn't need put a, a lot of time into. But the beta kind of showed us that it, if this is what we we're going to be getting, it is going to sort of like this turned us away from it a little bit more. So, obviously, like I said, this wasn't me trying to dissuade people from buying. I mean, obviously, if, if you if anyone else has views on it and want to buy the game, you know, obviously go ahead and do so. But the, the plain beta kind of has put me off it. But I'll, you, I'll leave the ramblings for it now. But um, but yeah, so I'll leave it the rest of the gameplay for people to watch and see how we did. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care and bye. That guy's history. There's a weapons case over here. What the hell is this? You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking carajo. That's your choice. But with a pair of sadistic fucks like Yuri and Polita, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It'd be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm no snitch, but they just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you have a package ready. Tango down. Tango down. 
Let's get back to business. How's it going, fuckstick? Pendejos. You are dead. This will go nice with my boots. Now that our couple are heading back to Itaqua, all we need to do is find out exactly where the hell they're gonna be. Only dead standing down. We're good to go. Tango down. Get down. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Drone. Eyes in a small group of tangos. Chopper, down, down. That guy's history. Copter, get down. Target down. Dead chopper, stay low. Get 
down, Chopper. God damn it. Chopper, hit the dirt. Stay low. Hang on, I'll drive. 